everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking you through all of my favorite products and things from the past month almost spilled my tea on me there so i am going to get started with beauty things as always do let me know in the comments if you prefer things a different way around like would you prefer me to talk about fashion first let me know. I'm going to start off with a few random bits. These are things that Alex has actually introduced me to and that I have ended up stealing off her. Every time I go around her house, I end up coming away with some like weird new beauty product. So this first one, I always think looks really strange and people always ask what this is when they come in my house. But this is the Nurse Jamie um, like face roller thing. I don't know if this works, but I really enjoy using it. I think I've mentioned it in my everyday makeup video, which I think should have got up by now. I use this in it and I love it. I love doing this in the morning and the evening. It really like de-puffs your face. Like this morning I woke up and I was super dehydrated. I'd had like salty food last night and my eyes were like mega puffy. And I just use this and I kind of like just rub it a little bit all around my face and it just tends to de-puff everything. It's very like, it stays quite cold. So it generally helps in like cooling down your face. Um, I don't know if it helps like firming. It's hard to tell, I'm not, I'm pretty, my face is pretty firm, but I don't know if it helps um, short term or long term. I can't really see that much of a difference. I don't know if you have to use it for quite a long time. I'm not really sure, but I just really enjoy rollering my face every morning and evening. I do it after I've done my skincare and then I just sit there and roller it. And it is just like the nicest, thing ever it feels so nice my skin has been really really good actually and i haven't changed my skincare routine at all so i do think this is kind of helping my skin in some way but yeah in terms of the depuffing that is what i am loving this for it really has helped like my face especially in the mornings just to look a lot less puffy and for that i love this this weird little thing that Alex introduced me to. She had two, so she let me keep one. So I've been loving that. And then I also um, managed to leave her house with one of these little things. So this is the face halo. Um, I think you can get these from Beauty Bay, I wanna say. They're basically like little round flannels for your face. They are so soft. They feel, it just feels amazing on my skin. And apparently you can take your makeup off with these without micellar water or cleanser or anything like that you literally just use the sponge which i haven't been doing i'll use it for that in the morning when i've got like little bits of makeup left on my face and it does work but for the evening i wear so much makeup that there's no way like i need like maybe three of these to manage that but i know alex uses it that way and she loves it and i have just really really enjoyed using this it just feels so nice on my face it's great for like taking off excess makeup in the morning and it's just a really nice little tool to cleanse with it. It makes a nice change to a flannel. Okay, now I'm going to move on to hair products. These are all from IGK. I've been on a total IGK hype for the past month, of course, because I just came back from Miami with them and I've been trying out so many of their products this month. And these are like my top four of the moment, I'd say. And the first two are the Hot Girls um, Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. I really like these. They smell incredible. My hair feels so soft after I use them. It's a very, very hydrating conditioner, as the name suggests. It smells super coconutty. It's just absolutely gorgeous. My hair feels incredible after. And I've just been loving using it and I wouldn't normally go for um, a hydrating shampoo and conditioner because I find that it can weigh my hair down and I love having volume in my hair. So I kind of feel like a lot of the time um, hydrating shampoos and conditioners tend to weigh it down a bit too much and um, I have to fight to get a lot of volume in my hair, but I'm not finding that at all at the moment and I am loving these. I also just love the packaging, like look at it, it's so cool. And I enjoy using that shampoo and conditioner so much that I've actually been washing my hair when I should, yeah, that's a big deal. And then on the subject of not washing my hair, uh, I've been loving the IGK Direct Flight. I did have a slightly like arsey comment I think about a week ago being like why do hair brands take you anywhere because you never wash your hair and this is why IGK have launched new dry shampoos so who better to give them a road test than this girl so they have the jet lag dry shampoo which I think a lot of girls on YouTube have talked about and they've just launched direct flight which is like a medium dry shampoo and then first class dry shampoo which is like a really really intense dry shampoo I've yet to get to the stage where I need to test first class out but this has been my go-to um for the past like three weeks now I've been absolutely loving it it's such a great dry shampoo it really does make it feel like it's just been cleaned but it also gives a lot of volume as well which i love if i don't want volume but i want my hair to feel like it's actually had a wash i will use my shura mirror dry shampoo because that stuff is freaking amazing but um if not this is like an amazing dry shampoo and i just love the volume and texture that it gives to my hair it's a really really good 
all rounder and you get a really nice big can as well there's a lot of product in here versus um my beloved bumble and bumble dry shampoo where you don't get as much product in the can and i would say if i compared the two this one is more intense as well um but it does have a little bit more grip to it which i really like it helps with the whole volume and texture thing and i just think my hair looks awesome at the moment if i do say so myself and then once i've styled my hair i've been loving using the igk intern flexible hairspray this stuff smells incredible i just need to like put that out there i know that was a very like i went i really went into that it smells bloody amazing i have never smelled a hairspray that smells as good as this it doesn't smell like hairspray it doesn't even have like that alcoholy like that catches the back of your throat it smells amazing it's a really nice big can as well as with look, all the igk products they're really huge cans and i really like that you get a lot of product and the amazing thing is it really doesn't feel like i have hairspray in my hair at all but it really does hold the style and i just have no idea how it works but i have been absolutely loving using this and i think i would go as far as to say this will probably be my holy grail hairspray for a very long time to come because i have been hating every hairspray that i've used recently i've really not been loyal to anyone um so just having this i'm like that yeah, this is what i want to use forever so yeah that is my hairspray love of this month and we are done for hair and then i'm going to move on to makeup which if you have seen my sephora haul you will recognize a lot of these things i hope i don't bore anyone i'll make this quick just in case so first up this foundation is incredible it's the fenty beauty pro filter soft matte longwear foundation Oh my goodness, I really, really love it. I always say I love the YSL All Hours foundations. It's one of my absolute holy grail favourite, favourite high coverage foundations, but this is up there with it. It's beautiful. It's definitely more matte. So if I do want a more matte finish, I want a more long lasting. Um, I mean, they're, they're both incredibly long lasting. I would say they're on par with each other, but if I want something that is more of a matte look versus a glowy look, then I will go for this. This stuff is amazing. I also love the packaging. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's just such a beautiful foundation bottle. I've re been really, really enjoying this. I apply it with a beauty blender just because I think that it stops it looking as cakey as it could. I think that beauty blenders with high coverage foundations are always the way to go. It makes your skin look much more natural and it meshes the product with your skin. And the thing I love about it is it is so buildable. Like it just looks absolutely flawless. If you layer, if you start small and layer it up, oh my God, I just absolutely love it. And in terms of shade, I use the shade 200. Uh, which is actually a really good match for my skin. Um, I'm wearing it today and I really like it. I've got bronzer on as well. But yeah, other than that, it is like perfect, perfect match for my skin. And I don't have to bronze up. I bronze up because I like to, but it is just absolutely perfect. Um, and I'm going to stop going on about it now, but I would highly recommend looking into that range of foundations. They have so many shades as well, which I love. And I really love that about Fenty Beauty as well, is like how many shades they have. So definitely, definitely go check them out. On the subject of Fenty Beauty, I found this! I kind of had to mention this at the beginning of my Sephora haul because it wasn't in the Sephora haul because I couldn't find it and now I found it and I'm very, very happy about that. This is the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. I'm going to apply some of this um, on camera because I really love it that much and I realised I'm not wearing any lip gloss. But this lip gloss smells like Haribo, which I love. I've never come across a lip gloss that smells like this. And it looks like it could be glittery from the bottle, but I really don't find it to be glittery at all even when I look at it in really harsh sunlight I can't see any like glitter to it it just looks beautiful it feels so nice on my lips it is just gorgeous I love it I love the shade of it it's beautiful I wear this a lot when whether I'm wearing lip product underneath or not but yes it is expensive but I personally really love it I don't have any faults with it I really really enjoy wearing it and I would 100% repurchase this again if I lost it which was going to happen when I thought I had lost it another lip gloss I've been loving this is like the runner-up but I still wanted to mention it because I have been wearing it a lot this month is the buxom lip gloss this one is more of a like um tingly lip gloss one of those kind of plumping ones this is in the shade sandy and it's more of a nudie baby pink I love the shade of it I think when I want a pinky nude it's just such a nice lip gloss to wear and I do like the fact that it has that little plumping quality to it it's not it's not something I want every day but I do really like it I like having a lip gloss that has that kind of quality it's basically the slightly more pigmented version of the Dior uh, maximizer lip glosses and I really like that about it and I will probably be wearing this for a really long time to come I'm really really into this so those are my two lip gloss favorites and then I have a lip liner favorite and this is max Whirl. this is the Caitlyn Jenner um, collaboration they did yeah it's just a really 
nice natural browny pinky color and I do find that when used lightly is very very similar to my natural lip color and I really like that because I don't like having a lip liner that's too far from my own lip color so I've been really enjoying using that recently and it's the perfect balance of like creamy but long lasting so it's really easy to apply but then it stays on for ages and ages as well and it's just such a gorgeous lip liner and I've been using it a lot recently oh I've got one more beauty favorite this is the Barredo uh, Gypsy Water Perfume. I've been really enjoying wearing this this month. I got it for Christmas and I've been loving wearing it. It just smells so nice. It's very fresh. There's a little bit of a like grassy, <laughs> grassiness to it. You know when you smell something and it smells like blue or you smell something and it smells like green? Um, why do I see smells and colors? <laughs> I don't know why, but there's a very like fresh, natural side to it but then at the same time there's a little bit of something that reminds me of like the chloe perfumes and the glossier perfumes so um yeah i've been really enjoying wearing this i mix it a lot actually with the glossier you fragrance i absolutely love both of them and the two mixed together are really really gorgeous oh i forgot a beauty favorite damn it Too faced just peachy palette not sure if this is coming to the uk yeah but i got it in sephora look at those shades oh my goodness, I enjoy using this so much. I've got this on my eyes today. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, so let's move on to fashion favorites. I'm gonna start off with my top, top favorite this month, which has been hoop earrings. I always love hoop earrings and I have since I was like 13 years old. I feel my most me when I wear hoop earrings. Kind of been collecting them this month. I have quite a few new pairs and these uh, are my favorite two that I'm gonna talk about from the most recent ones that I've bought. Uh, these ones are from Alex got them for me and I think they're from a brand called La Vista. I will try and see if I can link them in the info box below but apparently Claire's accessories have a pair that are very similar at the moment as well. Um, Topshop did do a pair which is where Alex got hers and I fell in love with hers from that and then she picked me up these when she saw them because she knew how much I loved um, her heart hoop earrings. Yeah that was very very nice of her. She is the best. So that's what they look like. They're super cute. I've been really enjoying wearing them. These ones are nice as well because they're really light so they don't um, like drag your ears down or anything like that. Um, whereas the other ones that I'm gonna talk about are very, very heavy, but I love them all the same regardless. So yeah, they're from Monkey. I got mine on ASOS and I just love them so much. They are so cool. I've been wearing these in quite a few vlogs and things and I'm just absolutely obsessed with them. Yeah, they're big and I absolutely adore them. So I've been loving hoop earrings this month. Those are my top two faves. Next favorites are I've been wearing a lot of trousers this month. This is my most recent pair, which I posted on my Instagram stories and I've got a lot of questions about them. They are from Topshop, as most of my trousers are. They're checked and they're very, um, like could look very smart looking. I have the matching blazer for this as well and I don't think I'd ever probably wear the two together, but I find these work really well when you casual them down. So I wear these a lot with my trainers and then like an oversized jumper or a crop t-shirt or something like that. But these have been my absolute favorite pair. I then also have a black and white checked pair, which everyone has been asking about, and they are also from Topshop. Basically all my printed trousers um, and checked trousers are from Topshop, but unfortunately they do go out of stock really, really quickly. So my black and white checked ones are out of stock. And um, I also have um, like a brown and blue and yellow checked pair, um, which I've just started wearing again, and they are also out of stock is really annoying. The other thing I've been loving, which you guys will have noticed, are like bodies. I really like this Topshop one. It's just like a nice round neck. And this cost me, I think, a whole 12 pounds, which I was super happy with. It really wasn't very um, like expensive at all. And I've been wearing it so much. I also bought it in white and it's just my favorite thing to wear with my black jeans. Um, I really like the silhouette that it gives and I've been really, really enjoying wearing those. I also wear them with my check trousers day in and day out as well they are just my go-to and i've always loved wearing bodies but i'm really having a moment with them again at the moment at the moment with them again at the moment anyway moving on more things that i've been loving i i'm well aware that this item in particular needs a wash by the way i've worn it this is my no time for romance t-shirt and it is the world's tiniest t-shirt i cropped it it came cropped but i had to crop it again because i've got a really short body so crop things come down to like my hips so i have that one which i've been really enjoying wearing and then i've also got this one which says no hard feelings and i just think that it's super cute and these are really nice and lightweight as well they're nice for me to wear with high-waisted jeans or my check trousers as i've already mentioned um, i've been really really enjoying wearing those especially with like boyfriend jeans and belting them at the waist and then just having like 
my little crop top on and i think you'll see me in those a lot more over like spring and summer as well and yeah not too much more to say about them so how much can you say about a crop top um but yeah i've been really really enjoying wearing those as well sorry my phone is going off it's lois she's downstairs <laughs> my final favorite for the month is it my final favorite i think i've no second to last favorite i'm all over the place second to last favorite these are my new trainers and uh, these are the saint laurent trainers i don't know what the name is for these so i basically either wear these or my gucci trainers day in day out i love them so much they bring me so much happiness and um yeah so i've been loving wearing these i think they're really cool my mum hates them she's like it looks like someone's drawn on them like i could have made you a pair like that myself but i don't care because i bloody love them and they make me so happy and they fit so well like they are so comfortable like, even around here it's like so soft and squishy i have not had a single blister from them they have not rubbed in any way i could not recommend them enough if you are thinking about making the purchase already and you're just looking to know whether someone else thinks they're comfortable i think they're comfortable and i absolutely love them and then my final item that i'm going to talk about is an oldie but a goodie this month i have absolutely loved using this so much um i think it's because it, the weather has been quite rainy and a lot of my bags obviously you know i love a suede or a velvet bag which is so impractical this is my most practical bag and I've been loving her this month because the weather has been absolutely diabolical and she just, the rain just falls right off her. This bag fits a ton. I love the shape of them. It's so like androgynous and just really suits my style so well. I don't think I will ever not have a Givenchy Antigona in my bag collection. They are just the absolute best, best bags. Um, yeah, I really like it. You put so much in. The inside of this is just absolutely ridiculous. And also despite the fact that I've worn this basically every day for the past couple of weeks, it has like no scratches on it. It is still in such good condition. So happy with it. It's just holding up really, really nicely. And um, yeah, I just, this is an old, old favorite of mine. I've had it for a really long time now. And I wanted to give it a little shout out and say that I'm still using it. So uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying using this one this month. I'm at a point where I need to eat something right now. And I'm going a bit like, shaky so i'm gonna round this up super quick my last favorite last last favorite those are my last fashion favorites um last last favorite is a book i've been reading sweet little lies by kaz freer i've been really enjoying this book i am just over halfway through and i really did want to finish this book before i filmed this video because i love being able to tell you my reaction to the end of a book um but unfortunately i'm not there yet but this has kept me really entertained the whole way through nothing feels too far-fetched and i'm not like raising my eyebrows at anything but i'm still very much entertained i'm still interested um and i'm excited to see where this book goes yeah it's just really interesting i've been really really enjoying it and i'm excited to get this finished i think i will get this finished um in the next couple of days so um you may have seen on insta stories my like reaction or me like saying that i finished it but yeah this is my little book favorite of the month really really enjoying it so far and would definitely recommend having read halfway through would definitely say that it's like worth reading um but yeah we shall see that is it for my february favorites did i say i hope i said february favorites at the start and not something else but yeah that is it for my favorites this month i have had so many things that i've been loving uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind month and i think march is going to be quite interesting i'm having some surgery on the back of my leg which means i'm not going to be doing a lot for half the month um so things could get quite interesting i'm gonna have way too much spare time and yeah thank you all so much for watching i love you a lot and i'll see you guys again soon bye